Hello everyone and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we're going to be checking out USMRE for a change. I've, it's been a while since I've done a regular USMRE but today we're going to be checking out menu number eight meatballs and marinara sauce. That one sounded pretty good to me. This one's made by the Warnick Company. Um, that was packed in 2018. There'll be date codes on everything on the inside. But yeah, let's uh, get this opened up and see what we got. Oh yeah, a little uh, public safety announcement. Um, knives are sharp. <laughs> yeah, I sliced the crap out of my thumb earlier. Oh, come on, Steve. You can get that open. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We're going to start off with a... Italian breadsticks. We've got our marinara meatballs. Got a teriyaki beef stick. Let me move this down a little bit here. This is a chocolate chip cookie, trans fat free accessory pack. Got our spoon. Got a tropical fruit punch. No fruit juice. <laughs> Cheese spread with jalapenos. My absolute favorite. Garlic mashed potatoes. Got our beverage bag. Flameless ration heater. And we have all of our nutritional info for the uh, Meatballs and the garlic mashed potatoes. Apparently the meatballs are beef and chicken. I don't know if I can uh, zoom in close enough if y'all want to read that. Jeez, that's small print. Nutritional info. And for the mashed potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is... Oh, well, wait. <laughs> Got to open up. Accessory pack. Alright, we've got our uh, Janelle, or not sure how to actually say that, instant coffee. Got our uh, mm, Enjoy Sarah Kelly sweetener, it's like Sweet and Low or Splenda. No thanks. Got some gum, non dairy creamer, toilet paper, moist towelette, and some salt. All right, now that's everything. Yeah, let me get my tray. We'll get everything ready. Okay, here's everything. Let's, uh, well, first, let's get our uh, meatballs and our mashed potatoes in some hot water. Normally, I'd probably use the Flamus Ration Heater, but it's a little bit warm tonight. I got all the windows shut down. Maybe next time. But, uh, yeah, let's get our drinks ready. Sorry. Tropical Punch. And our coffee, which yes, I actually got real sugar. I can't remember if I had this brand or not. Kind of a darker roast than what we normally get. And let's see here. Non dairy creamer. And our sugar. Made it like a nice three in one coffee. And I'll get some water really quick and uh, get these ready. Okay, drinks are ready, and uh, man, I, I don't know what is up with this tropical fruit punch. I, I added room temperature water and just turned into this red glob of crap. Took forever to dissolve. I mean, seriously, what is up with that? 
I look at the ingredients and first one sugar and maltodextrin, but man, I'm seriously not sure what is the deal with that. So we've got a moist towelette, which is a little bit drippy. <laughs> Didn't want it to drip all over my tray there. Kind of wring it out a little bit over the sink. But yeah, I like these moist towelettes. They're, you know, they're a little bit flimsy. Just about all of them are. But, you know, they dry really quick. And they don't smell like anything. Okay, while our stuff is heating up, we'll get our Italian breadsticks out. I know some people don't like these. I think it was Fernbart that hated them. They, uh... They don't smell bad. I've had them before. I think they're okay. Let's see how our chocolate chip cookie is. And it uh, came out and looks like decent shape. Alright, teriyaki beef stick. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to eat so much, like Slim Jims and everything. I think I just finally got sick of them. But this is a Bridgeford teriyaki beef stick. I don't know how they open. <laughs> Get my knife here. Get this open up. There we go. That uh, that actually smells okay. But yeah, let's uh, let's give this a taste first. But yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like, you know, your standard, you know, beef stick, like Slim Jims and everything. I think it's okay. It has a decent beef flavor. You really don't taste, you know, a strong teriyaki flavor. Naturally, you know, it's pretty salty. But I like them. And I'm going to move a few things around here. Get our bread out of the way. I'm going to put my mashed potatoes over here and our meatballs here. So let me get them right now. All right, garlic mashed potatoes. That's uh, got the tear notch on the lengthwise. I don't want to open them that way. Open this way. Make it a little bit easier. And they are pretty hot. All right. I know they smell pretty good. And our meatballs. Do that the same way. It actually didn't open worth a damn. And eh, maybe open not far enough. And these are pretty hot too. <laughs> a little bit hotter than what I normally leave them in the water for but those smell pretty good we can give our mashed potatoes a try they are mainly mashed potatoes got some parsley in there and garlic and yeah they don't taste too bad it has a decent garlic flavor to them and uh, just try a little bit of this sauce see how it tastes yeah, it tastes like your standard marinara sauce. Got a decent oregano flavor, basil. Tastes a little bit of cheese in there. Seasoned well. And the meatballs are pretty good too. You know, they don't taste as much as, you know, the Chef Boyardee flavor is what I was used to. They, they actually don't taste too bad. Got a little bit of a beefy flavor to them. Not really salty. You know me, I love my, uh, jalapeno cheese spread. Put some in our mashed potatoes. And our meatballs. Let's see if I get this mixed in there before it cools off too much. There we go. I get these, uh, 
jalapeno cheese spread packs all the time from uh, Minotaur Emery or Emery Nation. Good old Black Dog Bob. And he's got a little contest going now. Really kind of making your Emery's or the ones he sells, the Emery's, you know, a little more gourmet. I got so many ideas that I didn't know where to start. The only problem is I just don't really have the time. I probably had about, I don't know, I think about 10 ideas. But I think I'm only going to do like two or three. At least the ones that I think nobody else will think of. All right. I'm going to give our uh, Italian breadsticks a try. And they're okay. It's like that multigrain snack bread with, uh, you know, Italian seasoning added to it. Not too bad. It's a little bit dry. Um, go a lot better with this sauce. And yeah, it does go a lot better with the sauce. That works out really well. And let's see how much more flavor these got now with the cheese bread. Definitely a lot more flavor. I'm sure the meatballs are going to be just as good. And yes, it does. It adds a nice little kick to it. I know the mashed potatoes go really go well with that too. And it does. Okay. Let's give this fruit punch a try. Man. What the hell is that? Man, that sucks. Seriously. Even after looking at the ingredient list, which don't really seem too bad for, you know, a drink mix, this tastes just freaking horrible. I mean, there was no, you know, the package wasn't broke. There was no moisture in there. Everything was fine. This just sucks. <laughs> Sorry to be a downer, but man, that's horrible. Look at a bite of this cookie get that nasty flavor out of my mouth yeah I've had the chocolate chip cookie before these are really good they're they're a little bit crumbly but they do have good flavor I'm gonna dunk it in my coffee really quick <laughs> just because I can speaking of which give her coffee a taste And the coffee's not too bad. It's enjoyable. And let's see. Got our gum hiding down here. There we go. <laughs> Give this a try. And yeah, the gum's okay. It's a little bit sweet. It has a decent, and it seems like spearmint flavor. Doesn't last long at all, though. I think the flavor may have lasted only like three minutes. But hey, it got this nasty fruit punch flavor out of my mouth, that's for sure. But anyway, that's going to do it for this menu. And I think everything is really good. Meatballs, mashed potatoes, breadsticks, everything's great. This, on the other hand, if I ever get another fruit punch and a USMRE, yeah, I'm just going to toss it aside. I'm not going to drink that crap again. I'd rather just drink the coffee. But anyway... Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.